Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get weird. So I'm grabbing these unicorn tears from First Solly Care. And I actually think it's for Sully, not for Sully Care. Anyways, it's a makeup primer that I'm going to put on as if I was a unicorn that was crying tears. And then I'm going to rub that in my face before I put my foundation on. I'm then going to pick up my two favorite concealers from LA Girl. I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to put that under my eye to counteract any darkness that I have from not sleeping and editing this video. <laughs> That was such a creepy laugh, but we're going to keep it moving. So I'm going to grab the green to counteract any redness that I have from past or even current breakouts and around my nose because I'm a woman and hormonally we get red. It just is what it is. And I'm using my Morphe G1 brush to buff all of that in. All right, so this is my Ride or Die foundation, the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I'm in shade 102, and I'm mixing that with the Farsali 24 Karat Rose Gold Elixir to give it a little bit more of a dew. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to put that all over our face, blend it in with the Beauty Blender, which is also my Ride or Die, because I feel that it shears it out and it makes it not as heavy. So grabbing the Warm Neutrals palette from NYX, I'm grabbing that taupe color and I'm just going to start to dust that in the crease. We're going to work on building that up, but kind of just laying out the shape that we want for this eye look. I'm then picking up this muted like brownish brick red color and I'm just going to go below that first color that I put in the crease. I am trying to keep this a little bit more rounded than I normally go simply because I feel like it's going to make my eyes look bigger. Grabbing this warm camel brown, I'm going to focus on packing that on the outer corner of my eye and then slowly bring it inwards as there's less product. Taking this dark brown, I'm going to focus on putting that strictly on the outer corner and packing that on and building it up to the intensity that I want. Grabbing this reddish copper shade that is shimmery, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lid and then blend it out. I'm then going to grab my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, throw it on my face, and then blend it all out. I am going underneath the eye and I'm going to clean up all of my shadow with my concealer. That's a trick to getting sharp eye looks is to just clean it up, be as messy as you want, but clean it up with the concealer. I'm then grabbing another LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to highlight the center of my face with this because it's a little less thick than the MAC one. So I find that it blends a little bit easier and doesn't settle into fine lines. Taking my translucent air spun powder, I'm going to go ahead and set everything. I haven't been baking recently. I've just been setting because I feel like in the Colorado dry air, baking is kind of a disaster, you know? So we're going to wait for the summer until we do that again. Using the lightest shade from the Lorac Pro Contour Kit, I'm going to go ahead and start contouring my nose. That came off a little bit harsh right there, but don't worry. We're going to blend it out. There's always blending. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and just contour my cheekbones and then also dust it along the sides of my forehead. So we're kind of jumping all over the place, but using this cream shade, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the brow bone. I'm then going to throw on liner, which I can never do on camera, and mascara. This is my first time trying this mascara and I liked it. I'm grabbing these lashes from Lashylicious in the style Glamylicious. That is a mouthful and I'm going to blow on them until they're dry, then I'm going to set them on my eyeballs. Grabbing this black coal liner from NYX, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my waterline. <clears throat> Excuse me, my gosh. And then use the shadows to go ahead and blend that out and down. I'm then using the same shade that I used to highlight my brow bone to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and brighten those babies up. Okay. On the reels though, can we just take a moment for this palette? This is the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Palette, and it is as bomb as it sounds. I picked up this liquid highlighter from NYX in the shade Crystal Glare. The applicator was a little different, but you know what? It worked out, and I actually kind of liked it. 
I'm using my Real Techniques mini blender sponge to go ahead and just blend it all out. Because in the real world, there's never too much highlighter, I grabbed the highlighting and contour kit from NYX and went ahead and set that liquid highlighter. I'm using the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Transylvania, and then I grabbed my black micro brow pencil and started doing some faux freckles because I felt like it. I do have real freckles, but I like to play them up a little bit. And that's all I've got. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Oh, what the heck?